what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going to take a look at a couple of storms one here on earth and one on the surface of the sun first here on earth you can see a lightning strike and a very ominous looking storm cloud captured by Ariel out of Jacksonville Florida here's the storm as it got a little closer Here's a look at the storm from a different perspective. Very ominous looking, low to the ground. Shelf cloud, that video and those two photos were sent in by Ariel from Jacksonville, Florida. Now I wanna to go to the surface of the sun where there's another very large storm, a solar storm turning towards planet Earth. This is the latest image, one of the latest images from the Solar Dynamics Observatory that monitors the sun in multiple wavelengths. And you can see a storm brewing right there. And Earth is going to be, in fact, it already is, in the path of that storm. Here's a look at the storm in two different wavelengths as it's turning in the direction of our planet. And it's already producing some sea flares as the solar cycle is starting to increase in strength and we're seeing a increase in solar flares and CMEs and just a wide variety of activity. This particular active region is very large. We're going to see an increase in the ionosphere D region of planet Earth, especially if this thing produces any larger type of flares, especially X flares. There's always the possibility that that could, and I'll explain why. Here we are looking at the ionosphere D region and it absorbs energy from the sun. Right there you can see that, that purple and blue. That's an increase in energy from the sun. And that was from right, this one right here you're going to see. That was from the C1 flare that occurred just a few hours ago. We can go over to spaceweather.com, look in the last six hours. 6.15 Universal Time on November 7th, that produced a C1 solar flare. Granted, it's not the, the largest in town, but it's certainly not a small one either. And what happens when these flares erupt off the surface of the sun? Here's another view of the sun through a different wavelength. See the colors there? See the blue and the red? Those represent different polarities, negative and positive charge. When those charges get close together, they will erupt in the form of a solar flare, like we've been seeing. This is a very large active region. It will influence the Earth in the coming days as it slowly turns more and more towards the direction of Earth. If there are any solar flares or any more solar flares that come off of that active region, they will definitely impact the Earth and they will be noticed in the Schumann resonance. You can see some activity over here from about three days ago, a little bit of activity here, and we should see some more throughout the course of the day and into tomorrow. And the majority of that, if not all of it, can be directly related back to the sun, as you can see it being absorbed right here in the ionosphere D region. And that energy too shows up in the Schumann resonance like you see right here. So look for an increase in solar activity as we have a, a large solar storm on the surface of the sun turning towards planet Earth. One thing I wanna finish up on real quick, is an earthquake that occurred yesterday on November the 6th of 2020, and it was right here in East Central Illinois. Look, I grew up in this area right here, spent many years of my life in this area, and the word earthquake was hardly ever used. To see a 2.4, even though it's very small, it was also very shallow, coming in at one mile deep, just south of, of Champaign, Illinois. And I also have the, the, the fault lines activated on this particular map you're looking at here at the USGS. And there are no fault lines here. Um, active or inactive, there's just not a whole lot of anything going on with regard to earthquakes here. But yet you're looking at a 2.4 magnitude earthquake in East Central Illinois. And as I indicated earlier, I grew up in this area. The word earthquake was hardly ever used. So that is very, very rare. So back to the solar storm, look for a increase in solar activity as a large storm on the surface of the sun is turning towards planet Earth. Thanks for watching, have a super day, and be safe out there.